Why, hello there. I've received and seen a lot of questions surrounding how the Elden Ring network test happening from November 12th to 14th will work. As someone who has been in previous Souls network tests and is following Elden Ring very closely, I thought I'd make a quick video explaining how it is going to work, or how it is likely to work. We know a fair amount of details, but I'll also explain what makes the Elden Ring network test a little different. Let's get into it. Registration for the network test ended November 1st, and everyone who registered for the chance to participate will be notified November 8th in Americas and Japan, and November 9th in Europe by email. We know there will be 50,000 players chosen in Europe, but we did not get numbers for the Americas and Japan. The Elden Ring Network test will be happening from Friday, November 12th to Sunday, November 14th, simultaneously across the world. There will be five three-hour sessions across these days when players will be able to participate in as many sessions as they are able to. These sessions will be strictly online play, as the stated point is to test and collect data on many people playing at once and engaging in online activities. You can check out the video linked above and in the video description regarding the reality of recording or streaming gameplay, but the stance according to Bandai Namco's FAQ is that you cannot stream these sessions. Players will have the choice to choose the lady or dude version of five preset characters, and note that these are not the starting classes for Elden Ring, they are the preset characters made specifically for the network test, and that in the full release you will be able to create your own character. So once you choose a character, what is it like in the network test? In the Dark Souls 3 network test, players could play a modified version of the High Wall of Lothric. You could not level your character or access menus, but you could pick up items and weapons that were automatically added to the quick access on the D-pad. They also provided items like the Red Eye Orb and Dried Finger to facilitate PvP. I anticipate that there might be similar restrictions for the Elden Ring network test, but there are a couple distinct differences between the previous network test and the Elden Ring network test. One big difference is that you could not save your character in the Dark Souls 3 network test. At the beginning of a new session, you would need to start a new character. However, for the Elden Ring network test, it is confirmed that you can save a character to play with between sessions. According to the website, the test will feature exploring fields and dungeons, fighting enemies, and playing online elements. So there will be a combination of open world and dungeon gameplay, which likely means that you'll be able to use your steed as you ride around the open world, when not in multiplayer of course, and battle your way through a side dungeon and or part of a legacy dungeon. When it comes to how much content is in the network test, it is hard to know. Not only because this game is larger in scope being open world, but because this is also what is being used for preview coverage for press and creators. Where with previous titles there were earlier demos and hands-on events, this is likely it, meaning they want to show off a bit so that press and creators can generate some excitement and get a decent idea of the game. As it is, they are playing for 72 hours this weekend before the network test, so From feels that there is enough content to require a few days to play through. Which is amazing news, but also might mean that you will want to make sure you choose the preset character with the playstyle you're most interested in trying out. And who are the characters for the Elden Ring Network Test? There were five choices to choose from. We have the Warrior, who wields a straight sword and paired curved swords. Then there is the Enchanted Knight, who wields a staff for casting and also might have a halberd. And then there is the Prophet, who wields a club and may also have spells like this. And then we have the Champion, who wields an axe and may have a catalyst. And finally we have the Bloody Wolf, which is the iconic set for Elden Ring marketing, and they can be seen in their network test portrait wielding a straight sword and shield. And there you have it, a basic idea of how the Elden Ring network test is likely to work. Press and big content creators will be dropping footage of the network test content before the network test, but if you're like me, I'm not interested in watching that coverage just a few days before I might get to play it myself, 
so hopefully this provided a spoiler-free way to set expectations. If you found this information helpful, please consider giving the video a like, and if you'd like to stay up to date on Elden Ring news, consider subscribing to The Lore Hunter. I will be covering all official information leading up to release, and then I will be diving deep once the game comes out. Thanks for watching.